Hey guys, and welcome back to the updated version of how to make Limit Play again. Yes, I saw all of the complaints in the previous video about me not adding the leaf button, and I thought to myself, why didn't I add the leaf button? How stupid am I not to add an essential thing for the gate? But don't worry, in this tutorial, I've added the leaf button for you. So yes, I think I deserve a round of applause. Actually, don't, don't, don't. Let's just get on with the video. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is publish your game. So go to file, click publish to Roblox, name your game whatever you want. So I'll just name it gate kit and then description whatever just set whatever you want and then click create once you've done that we can get on with the next step so after that go to view click asset manager double click on places right click add new place i'm gonna rename this new place we added to main game now this main game this new place we added is where your main game will, uh, will be in so your story game your horror game or whatever game you have in your head the gate will teleport the place to this main game now, once you've added the main game and published the game to Roblox, we can get on with setting up the gate. So, first, I want you to go in the description below and get the updated gate kit model. Then, go to toolbox, click these four squares, and click the gate kit updated model. Now, I'm just going to delete it because I already have it added. So, here, yeah, here it is. It's not fully set up yet, and don't worry, I won't make you script anything like last time. All I want you to do is go into the gate kit model and you'll find different groups. So it already has the name on it. So just drag replicated storage to replicated storage. Right click and ungroup. Drag started character scripts to start player started character scripts. Right click and ungroup. And then drag started UI to started UI. Right click and ungroup. Then drag workspace to workspace. Right click and ungroup so after you've ungrouped everything we're basically done setting up the gate so now i want you to go go back to that new place we added so go to view asset manager double click on places and go back to that main game or that new game we added you're just gonna right click it and copy id to clipboard this is very important do not skip the step next go to the gate kit go to open go to gate bottle double click on main script and find teleport id you're going to change all these zeros and paste in the new id after you pasted it we're basically done we're done with the whole thing all we have to do is change the players so if you see if you test it out right now if we click play here and we go into the if we go into the model you see it will teleport us in and if you see there's a new button leave if you click leave it will kick us out and if you see it says zero players but when i go back in one player leave zero so it also updates the gate so yes now how do we make it so that it uh, doesn't only limit one player no it doesn't limit one player it limits two players or three players so what you're gonna do is duplicate this gate kit do not get it back from the toolbox just duplicate it and then go to the gate kit gate model and the way it says plays allowed you're gonna change that to how many plays you want two two plays and that's basically it that's how you change the limited plays now there's one more thing I would like to add when the players click leave where do they teleport to so remember that thing we ungrouped from the uh, f to the workspace this is called the leave room part I just named it that because of a tutorial I watched online so I'm gonna you can drag this this is where the place would teleport to so I'll just drag it here so the place teleport here when they click leave so that's what I would like to add now to make the if this won't teleport you to the main game in Roblox studio to make it teleport you need to test it out but if you want to test it out just go to game settings go to security uh, allow HTTP requests and then uh, also call allow third party teleports and then click save now if you noticed if when we change the player it does not change the name tag I forgot to say this so go into the gate kit go to the gate click on surface GUI go to frame 
and I go to where is it? Uh, multiplayer option. Change this to whatever you want. I'm gonna change it to two players. So now let's see what happens when more than the limited amount of people try and go to the gate. So to, before we test it out in a real game, because I don't have more than one account, I'm gonna test it out here. I'm gonna launch three players and I'm gonna click start. Right, so here's player one. Let's say, let's wait for this timer to end. Alright, so let's say a player tries to go in, and then another player tries to go into the one player one. As you can see, this player cannot go through. But on the other screen, this guy can leave, and then this guy can join. So, what happens when two people go into the two player one and a third person tries to go? So we'll wait until this timer finishes. So one player goes in and then another player goes in. So as you can see there's two players in here. Now if the third player tries to go through, as you can see, they can't. It's as it's just frozen. So I'm gonna leave on the other screens. So you can see if more than that person tries to go, it does not allow because we've added a limit. Hopefully that makes sense. This is not my best tutorial, but hopefully that does make sense So let's go test it out what will happen in a real game So I'm gonna click file publish to Roblox so it updates and I'm gonna see what would happen if I tested this out in a real game Okay guys before we actually test it out There's one more thing we need to do if we don't want any errors So go to view go to asset manager double click on the places double click on your main game once you're in your main game just add a part scale it or do whatever you want just add a part and then file publish to roblox then go back to your lobby click file and publish to roblox i don't know why but you have to do that you know this it's going to give you some error code so yeah make sure to do that so you don't get any errors now let's test out the game all right so we got one player here we'll go into the one player as you can see we can also leave but yes, let's go back to the one player. There may be a bug, there may be a small delay, so just wait. And as you can see, it has teleported me to the main game. So yeah, that's basically it. This tutorial may not be the best, but I've tried. And if this really did help you, please put a thumbs up and subscribe. We're so close to a thousand subscribers. But other than that, have a good day, hope this helped your game, and see ya.